Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd try something a little bit different. Uh, there's a website called binarysearch.com, and it's very similar to LeetCode, but the problems are slightly different. So I thought I'd switch it up and try some problems here, just because whenever I see the daily LeetCode challenge is something that I've already solved, maybe I'll try something else. So this problem is called binary search tree typo. It's a hard question. You are given a binary search tree root, which is almost a binary search tree, except two nodes values have been swapped. Return the original binary search tree. So if this binary search tree was indeed a binary search tree, what we should find is that every value, the left node should be smaller than its current value and the right node should be larger. And we can go down the line and see like here, if we go down, the left side is not larger, right? It's actually, or it's not smaller, it's larger. So we know that this value is incorrect. And going down here, we can see that 2, 7, the 1 is correct. Uh, actually, no, the 1 can't be here because even though this was a sub subtree, subtree for a binary search tree, like we know that uh, the 1 can't be bigger than 2, right? So how, how do we figure this out. Now, at first, I thought maybe we'd have to do a, a regular traversal, but uh, it's not going to work if we do a pre-order traversal because there's a lot of edge cases where it's going to be hard to tell whether the value is not in the right place or not. So say, for instance, everything was correct here. This is a correct binary search tree, but say 7 and 8 are swapped, right? Well, the 8 up here is actually technically can be an 8, right? It's just that seven that's wrong. So even if we pinpoint, yes, the seven is misplaced, we're not gonna be able to figure out where do we swap it with. So the best way to figure out which values are incorrect, and they give you the hint right here, is the in-order traversal yields sorted order. So what does that mean? Like, what that means is if we did an in-order traversal, if this was a binary search tree, everything should be sorted in order, but we know that two of them are not. So that means that two values are not going to be in the correct sorted order if we did an in order in order traversal. So all we then we need to do is perhaps traverse through our tree in order, put it all the values into an array, compare it to a sorted array and see which values are in the right pl wrong place and then do an another traversal through our tree and swap those values. And after that we can just return our root. So Let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm not going to overcomplicate it because I think it's going to make it too complicated to do that. So first I'll create a temp and this will be, I guess, the tree nodes. We'll make this a list and we're going to do a in order traversal, right? So in order, we're passing the node. If not node, just return. Otherwise, uh, we'll do a in order to the node dot left and we'll do I guess we're going to add this current value into the tree node then. So this would be tree node dot append the current nodes value. And then we'll do the in order to the node dot right. All we need to do then is call this with a root. So this should give us a list right now of all the tree nodes in order. So what does this mean? Then we need to compare it to a, a sorted version of this because we know that two values are not going to be correct. So what we'll do is say, all right, sorted tree nodes, I guess. We'll say sorted. This is going to give us another list, but it's going to be sorted this time. Okay, so once we have that, I suppose we'll have to, uh, we can make a lookup and we'll say for uh, the values, it's called index value in enumerate, let's see, tree node. If this value does not equal the sorted tree node i that means it's not correctly sorted right so what we'll do is we're gonna put this to our lookup we'll make this the value equal to sorted tree node i like this so at this point we should have two values in here that tell us uh, the key of the value that's incorrect and the value that it should be swapped with so then all that we need to do then is to traverse our tree again. We'll say, I'll just do a normal traverse. That's in the node. I'll say, let's see, um, if not node, turn. 
And normally, how do we do this? We say uh, reverse f first node dot right. And if this value, if node dot value is in, let's say the lookup, then we're gonna swap this node dot value be whatever this node dot value should be swapped to. So make sure to traverse and we'll just return a root once we're finished. All right, so that looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and submit it. And there we go. So apparently this took 30 milliseconds, which surprised me. And what's the time complexity? Well, at first I thought it was gonna be O of N, but because of this part, technically it's gonna be N log N. And we also use O of N space because of all these tree nodes and lookups that we make. So is this the optimal answer? Well, all you need to do is go to the solutions and you'll see very quickly that it is not. Uh, for instance, this solution here, very similar approach, but uh, it's going to use O of 1 space because we will, instead of adding our list val our node values into a list and sorting it, we're going to keep track doing a Morris in order, something I've never heard of, <laughs> but uh, we basically traversing this tree and yielding nodes so that we don't have to store it anywhere. Uh, and what this is going to allow us to do is keep track of that last node, starting with the negative maximum minimum. And uh, if we ever find that the order doesn't make sense, we store the left and right nodes, kind of like almost like a list. We're going to like swap it at the very end. Sh we should have a left and right remaining and we'll swap those. Um, it's something like that, but like, you know, whenever I see solutions like this, I realize I'm so far behind and that's why I keep telling everyone, don't trust me, because <laughs> look at this solution. I would have never come up with this. This is crazy. And everyone says, you know, if you make it into a list, that's not the opt optimal solution. You know, if it was an interview, I wouldn't accept it. And I'm like, oh, wow, okay. Uh, you know, what, what do I say to that? So, yeah, I'm just going to continue to grind, hopefully get better. But I'm still happy that I was able to get the basic approach to solve this problem. All right. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.